Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another ESL podcast. This is your host, Arsenio Buck. Guys, I'm so grateful as always. Um, I just want to say big thank you to everyone in the world. I cannot even pronounce some of the cities that some of you are listening to me in. But I'm just so grateful, and I love being grateful because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. But I just want to make my podcast with a little bit more of a funk. See, a lot of teachers out there are very, hello, my name is... No, 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 no. I'm the new gen. I'm the new generation type of a teacher. So that's why I like to make my podcast fun, and I'm doing things that no one else is doing. So guys... With that being said, as always, thank you so much. It's such a special opportunity to be doing this. And with that being said, let's get into some grammar reported speech. So here we go. Episode number 48, guys. We are closing in on the end. We probably have about 10 to 15 episodes left. If that, and then we're going to be ending that season, this season, also known as season number two. And then we'll be going into probably a relatively short season. With season number three because I will be repeating, uh, repeating basically what I've already taught you but in a more, uh, in a more effective and difficult way. And then the intermediate season, season four, that will be very new. And then hopefully season number five will be the upper intermediate. And if somehow I could stretch it out to season number six. Uh, That will be advanced, but that will be extremely difficult for a lot of you. So this is why I tell everyone, if this is the first time you're listening to me, go on Buzzsprout, Arsenio's ESL podcast. Go all the way to the bottom. The first episode was at the end of March this year. Listen from there. Also, you can look up those exact blogs at thearseniobuckshow.com. All right, that's the best way to do everything. Just so you hear me speak more slowly compared to what I'm speaking right now. Now I'm speaking at a pre-intermediate level. It will continue to get faster and faster and faster the more the more levels I go up to. I'm sorry, not pre-intermediate. I'm speaking at an elementary level, uh, more like a pre-intermediate level. But anyways, you get the point. So guys, with that being said, let's get into reported speech. I'm just going to break these down. I'm going to show you there the beautiful part of reported speech. Please go to my blog, thearseniobuckshow.com. I wrote a list of the direct speech to reported speech and how it works. Okay, so basically, direct speech, let's just put it this way. Antoine Fisher is my favorite drama movie. So in reported speech, you're going to go, uh, what is it, uh, a tense back. So I'm not going to say present simple, I'm going to say past simple. And I'm going to report what I said, or what he said, or what she said. So let me go over that one more time. Direct speech. Antoine Fisher is my favorite drama movie. Okay? Now, reported speech. Arsenio Buck said... Now, of course, when I put said or told, that means I'm reporting something. So Arsenio Buck said Antoine Fisher was his. Now, I'm talking in like a second or third person because now I switched out my and I'm saying his because I'm reporting what I said, if that makes sense. I'll repeat that one more time. Arsenio Buck said Antoine Fisher was his favorite drama movie. Got it? Now, let's go into the next one. Number two, I hope children of all ages will love the new book. Now, report. He told us he hoped, with a D, signifying the past tense. Children of all ages would, not will, but would, you go a tense back, would love the new book. Got it? I'll say it one more time. He told us he hoped children of all ages would love the new book. Direct speech. I hope children of all ages will love the new book. All right. Now, going into number three. I think I have just swum 
the length of the Nile River. Now, present perfect with the reported speech, past perfect. You're going to report what he said. He said that he thought he had just swum the length of the Nile River. So think goes into thought, okay? He said that he, relative pronoun, that. He thought he had just, I've just swum, he had just swum, I've just swum. Do you understand the length of the river? The length of the Nile River. <sighs> okay, now, the last one, number four. I feel quite tired. Reported speech. He told the interview the <coughs> he told the interviewer that he felt quite tired. You see how that works? I really, really encourage you guys to please check that out at my website. And I'm just going to go over some of these in terms of the reported speech for you. Write this down if you guys don't want to tune into my blog, okay? Direct speech, present simple. Report, past, uh, past simple. My language is sucky today. Present continuous, direct speech. Past continuous, reported speech. Past simple, direct speech. Past perfect, reported speech. Present perfect, direct speech. Past perfect, reported speech. Will, direct speech. Would, reported speech. Can, direct speech. Could, reported speech. May, direct speech. Might, reported speech. Must have to, must or have to, direct speech. Must or had to. Reported speech. Now, guys, there's a nice little exercise for you right there. Now, if you want to do the exercise on your own from my blog, stop the podcast now. Okay, now, let's put it this way. How can you use said and told? A lot of you are like, I don't know how to use that. Now, check this out. He is a pronoun, right? And if I put he said, he sometimes wore bandanas. So, said, you cannot say he told he sometimes. No, 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 no. He said he, okay? So, that's a relative pronoun he and a relative pronoun he. You would normally put said, okay? Now, if there's another, if there's like a reflexive pronoun or something else like me or us, then you would put told. So, he told me. He told us. If you use the relative pronoun that, he said that he was working as a journalist. He told us he didn't like sometam. Do you understand? So with me, us, and those types of, what is that? Yeah, those types of, oh my god, I guess it's the object or whatever. But you're literally saying, you're not using, let's just put it this way. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Those are pronouns, subject pronouns, okay? He said she, he said you, he said I, he said whatever. Those are all subject pronouns. So you will always use said. Anything else, of course, you use told, except with the relative pronoun that. Because after that comes, of course, what? The subject he, all right? So, I hope you guys understand that to a certain extent. I'm going to make another ESL task, but this will be in blog form only for you guys. So, please stay tuned for that. That will debut tomorrow. So, again, guys, thank you so much for tuning yet into another reported speech. Again, if you guys have more questions, I will be reviewing this again in a more difficult way in my third season. So, stay tuned for that. A couple more tasks and reported questions will be coming up very shortly. So stay tuned. And as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another podcast. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.